Good morning. Welcome to the PWOD, the prophetic word of the day this morning. morning. We have an eventful episode for don't, you today. Don't, don't start yet. Don't start. We have an eventful morning. Yep. So we hope that you are having a fantastic, um, what day of the week are we on right now? Thursday. Mm -hmm. We hope that you're having an amazing Thursday and that you had an even better Wednesday. Wednesday night was amazing. Our church service last night was absolutely incredible. The Holy Ghost showed up like crazy last night. God is so good. And, Amen. Um, as you're jumping on, this is going to be a very practical word. A very not life that they're not practical always. They're no. always practical. Everything we talk about and people implement it very into their life lives. Very life lesson. Very life lessons. Well, we've got some life lessons and we've got some... <sighs> ah, what a morning! So if you've had a morning and you'd like to hear about our morning, uh, share and tag it. Get it out there right now. Um, I do have a scripture for you. So go ahead and let's get ready for the PWOD this morning. Say, I'm ready for the PWOD. We're not going to beat around any bushes this morning. And we're glad to know that you are with us. Um, so if you're ready right now to receive this word. Um, Philippians 4, 4 through 5. That's where we're going to go. Philippians 4, 4 through 5. This is one of the best scriptures I could find under the level of distress this morning um, with what took place and my, maybe we could come into some other ones and we're going to also hit uh, six through seven here in a minute. So Philippians four, four through five, they're ready for the PWOD. Here we go. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Father, help us in this word in Jesus' name. Okay, so this morning, as normal mornings, we get up and we take care of things that we are doing. Um, I got up this morning real early before the crack of dawn when it was still dark, went in, uh, prayed, worked out, uh, came, you know, got ready for the PWA today after having breakfast and whatnot. So we've already been up for a couple of hours and I'm sitting in the chair in the bedroom, which is right next to the window. And I'm sitting there praying, I'm getting ready, I'm reading the word that I was going to talk about today. And then <laughs> Which all we'll of, do that tomorrow. And then I hear this noise outside, and I'm thinking, man, what happened to the trash truck? You know, and I open the window and I don't see anything. And within seconds, I hear these uh, bloody murder screams uh, coming from this one right here saying, Chris, get up, get outside now, hurry, hurry, hurry. And I'm like, I mean, my heart jumps into my throat. <laughs> I almost yacked up my oatmeal this morning. And I'm sitting there thinking, who's dead? <laughs> Somebody is dead. I was and, a little nervous. And I was scared. And I run out the front door. And when I go out the front door, I see a vehicle, part or vehicle smashed right in front of the house. And then I look, and what had happened was this young man decided to drive his vehicle with the visibility in his windshield of this right here because his windshield was completely frosted over, and he was looking through this but wasn't paying close enough attention, probably on his phone, and rear-ended sure. Grant's parked vehicle that's parked right on the side of the street, which it's you're allowed to park on the side of the street in our neighborhood. I mean, he never stopped. He just nailed the rear end of this of his vehicle, busted stuff everywhere. So Davy's barefooted, Faith's barefooted. Grant was getting out of the shower, getting because he was fixing to go to work. I'm barefooted. I got the footage here. But I'm not going to show you. We go running out there, and 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 the moose is loose over here. And Davy is like, "What are you doing, dude? What are you thinking? Look at your windshield." I just and I got she, into mama mode. She said, "We're calling the police." And the guy, and it's a good thing she said this because the guy goes, "No, we don't have to call the cops." She goes, "Oh, we're calling the police. Faith, call nine one one. Get your phone. Go now, now, now." So hold on. All of this happens. And I walk out there and I said, dude, are you okay? Are you okay? He said, yeah, I'm fine. I said, okay, good. Davey, 
get in the house, go get some shoes on, get a jacket, okay? Get in there. <laughs> Have you had a morning like this? Where hey, people are Daisy saying they says, love, love Mama, Mama Bear. Bear. I know. Thank you. But have you had a morning where you're getting ready to do everything and then something happens and it just, I mean, the whole morning is shot. <laughs> It'll be turned around. Well, the, what the enemy meant for bad? Yes. God does what? Turns around for his glory. Yes. Here is the good thing. After the evaluation of everything that's going on, we calm down, or Davey calms down, and we're still calling people and calling insurance and these people and some friends that we know that own a body shop. What do we need to do? Do we drive the car? Do we not drive the car? And all of a sudden, this scripture comes to my mind, and the Lord says, in this moment, can you can you rejoice in me? Mm -hmm. Now, I know that's for me, but I want to, you know, for Grant, because he's sitting over here, it was his vehicle can you rejoice in the Lord when the enemy does something to distract you, to deter yes. you, to mess with your day, mess with mm -hmm. your means of transportation, which helps you get to work? Can you stop in this moment and give God glory? Yes, because he said, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Mm -hmm. Can I rejoice in the midst of all hell going on? Can I rejoice when I just got rear-ended? Can I rejoice in the fact that, okay, nobody's dead, praise right. God. Amen. Nobody's hurt. Uh, Grant wasn't in the vehicle. Uh, yes. That is also where parents drop off their kids. What if this guy had hit a mom with a bunch of kids in the back of a minivan that are unbuckled, of course, getting ready to get on the bus? So we thank God. We rejoice. We could go yeah, in all different yeah. kinds of scenarios. But I thank God that, Lord, there's something that you, you I mean, you're. this is setting something up. This is a setup right now, and the enemy thinks that he's going to mess us up today, but he's not. Now, there for a moment, Davey had a little breakdown with the dude out there. But the Bible says, no visibility. let your gentleness <laughs> be known to all men. Pause. Just for the record, for the mama bear, let me just talk to you. There was zero visibility. The entire front of his windshield was iced over. There was, it was. His, his window was not rolled down and him leaned out looking. The dude got in the car and just went and he was going at least 30, 40 miles an hour with no visibility. True. Hit a vehicle that was completely stopped. For the record, my thought was, is he high? What's going on? I'm thinking, what's happening? And the reason why I was screaming for you is because whenever I said, dude, we got to call the police, he started backing up, getting into his car. Well, that was after the fact. I'm thinking the guy's going to take off. I don't know if he's a part of the neighborhood or not. I've yeah, never seen still, him before. It was still, yeah, okay, so that was after the fact. The screaming happened in the house. <laughs> then you screamed <laughs> at the guy. Then you screamed at Faith to go call 911. Oh. And then you sat there and you just pandered him and go, what were you thinking? What were you doing? Da, 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 da. But she's a mama, so that's what mamas do. Like, why would you um, get in the car with no visibility? Duh. But here we go. Let your gentleness be known. I will be gentle the rest of the day, I promise. Here we go, folks. When... When there is a stressful situation and we come into a place where it is chaotic, can we be gentle in the Lord in the moment where all hell's breaking loose? Amen. Stop and think about this. What do we show man if we react and fly That's off good. the handle? And, and say things, but are we to go out there and be gentlemen? Okay, this happened. This just happened. Let's calm down. Mm -hmm. let's, don't, let's don't get frustrated. Let's don't take this out on the individual. That's right. This happened. Mm -hmm. Okay? It was, it was unseen. Uh, it was not malicious. What no, if it was no, malicious? No. Well, we're supposed to be rejoicing mm -hmm. and gentle even if it was malicious here. 
Because the Bible says, love your enemies. This isn't an enemy. This was just an accident that took place. So I want you to see this because so many times we take things out of context yes. and we make it worse than what it really is. Nobody That's was so hurt. Good. Praise That's God. So it's a car. All right. You can get a car fixed. You can't fix the body if the body's dead. All right. We raise them from the dead. Okay. Uh, if you get hit by a car, now we got another problem. But we didn't. It was a vehicle. So... This vehicle can be fixed. Does he have insurance? Okay, he does. Okay, great. So now we know it's going to get fixed. It's not going to go on our no. insurance. Okay, so Lord, we're going to give you glory today. We're going to calm down and let our gentleness be known to all men, for the Lord is at hand. The Lord will turn this around for his glory in the name of Jesus. Now, I, let me tell you what I did. I walked in the house because Davey said, I can't believe you're going to bust me out. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say what I said. I walked in the house and said, I told you so. All right? Because here's what I've been saying. I said, we need to invest in building a larger driveway mm -hmm. to get his vehicle off the road. Because I said, somebody's going to hit that car one day. He did. Now, that's not said, well, you spoke it into existence. no. I'm saying that we need to get the car off the road mm -hmm. before something could happen, and here it goes, it happened. So, which is why I've been calling people and trying to find out how much does it cost to fix a driveway. It's so expensive. $10,000. So, it's, it's $10,000 to build a side driveway so we can pull another vehicle up <laughs> to make sure that we don't have an accident like we had out here. So... That's one of our prayers right there. So if you want to be prayerfully considering helping with a driveway, go right ahead. Or just pray. <laughs> Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing. Yes. But in everything, in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will yes. guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. <clears throat> what an incredible scripture to exercise yes. during the middle of a horrible situation. During the middle of a car wreck. During the middle of all this, okay, by prayer and supplication, God, we thank you today that nobody is hurt. We thank you, Lord God, that you are forced. We thank you, God, that you can fix this situation. We thank you, God, that right here, right now, even though this happened out there, God, you're going to make a way for everything yes. to work out for your good. And we, because most people think by prayer and supplication and that, everything we do, okay, you're praying for certain things to happen. What about praying for, okay, God, thank you. Yes. Right here, right now. My request mm -hmm. is that I would have peace. Yes. The request is for you to have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. God, give us peace. Yes. Give us the peace in the middle of what just happened this morning at, what was it, 7 o'clock. 6.45, 7 o'clock this morning. It's now going on almost 10 o'clock here in Eastern Time Zone in Chattanooga. Lord, we need your peace. And then I'm telling you what happened. The peace of God came in on everybody. It did. We had some neighbors walk up. I mean, we were having a picnic, handing out coffee. People were not, meeting not one another and enjoying way. everybody. And we were all talking and, you know, we did talk. sharing and whatnot. And did you tell them about Jesus? No, we should have probably. Uh, we were more concerned about the dude driving away. And then the cops had to go. <laughs> he literally did. He drove away. He drove off. And so the police had to go get him because he wasn't supposed to leave yet and then came back and blah, blah, blah. So, I missed this. What happened? We had a car wreck. Bridget, you're going to have to go back Bridget, and watch it. Bridget, go back and watch it. A, a, a dude hit a parked car. In our, at our One house. One of our cars. At our house. In front of the house. Smoked it. <laughs> Did not even hit the brake. There's no skid marks. Just wham, bam. <laughs> I thought the trash truck blew up outside. <laughs> Davy blew up outside. No, Mama Bear did. I blew up inside. So we both blew up. So see, I'm, 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 I'm taking some responsibility here, baby. I came in the house and I said, I told you so, woman. <laughs> got to get this driveway. <gasps> so we get the car off the street. Because somebody's going to hit. Hey, they can, hit I, it. can I go get pancakes when this is over? <laughs> well, I don't care. I've already ate. I've had my oatmeal after working out. I don't need pancakes. Oatmeal, protein, some blueberries. Hallelujah. I need right, first folks, watch. Listen, I need a morning meditation. Why do we pray with, why are we, we're not anxious for anything. Why do we pray? Are you listening, Grant? 
All right. Why do we pray <laughs> with supplication, thanksgiving, and let our request be made to, known to God so that the peace of God will come, which will surpass all our... How can you be so happy? You just got rear-ended. I have the peace of the Holy Spirit. Oh. I have the peace of God which guards my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. I don't have to get upset. I don't have to fight. I don't have to jump around. I don't have to do all of that. I have the peace of God. God's going to take care of it. Yes. He said he would. We're his children. He's going to take care of Grant's car. Car's going to get fixed. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be like brand yes. new. Butch and Kelly are on. They said it better be. It better be. Well, it's going to be. <laughs> That's a daddy right there talking. Oh, that is Butch. That is Hear not me. Kelly. <laughs> I know the difference. Hear me. <laughs> Oh. Hear me, folks. Mm -hmm. When have you been in a situation where you needed to pray that the peace of God came in yes. so that you didn't lose it in front of man Nick and, and not it, live in gentleness, but, but ended up losing your witness mm -hmm. because of your frustration? Yeah. Is this not a good teaching this morning? Hey, we're just, we're just letting you in on our life. We've turned around <laughs> a... Doo doo morning, and <laughs> doo doo morning. Can I not say doo doo? <laughs> I don't know. We've never said doo doo morning. Before. I just did. Oh. We turned around a doo doo morning for Jesus. Oh. When, when life gives you doo doo, <laughs> you make Kool Aid or pray or something like that. That's it's not. Like, <laughs> all right, and then you pray. Oh, that was all in the movie. The and then night. God gives oh. you grace. God gives you peace. And the next oh thing you know, everything's taken care of. And now you got a great story you can tell your grandchildren one day. One day we were sitting in the house <laughs> reading the Bible and boom, I thought that the trash can blew up. Oh, is that going to be your voice? I hope not. I just pray not. But here we are this morning. Grant, are you good? You got peace? He's got two thumbs up. Didn't say nothing, but two Grant, thumbs up. Grant, do you have peace? He's got peace the peace of peace. God which surpasses all understanding. He ain't at work today because he's here. Why? He ain't got no vehicle. <laughs> we gotta go get a rental so now we're going to go get a rental car. And God's going to pay for that too. Oh, God. I'm Amen? Up. Folks, life happens. And if we can't get through it with the Lord, I'm going to tell you what right now. If we didn't have Jesus, woo! There might have been some wordy dares dropped out there. There might have been some throwing down. I mean, there, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Think about if you don't have the Lord and then you react out of the flesh on somebody. for yes. some, mm. Bless God. I'm sitting in there going, I hope David don't get crazy up out there on that cop. <laughs> she get, she thrown in the back seat. Who's going to cook supper? <laughs> you could cook. Well, I cook anyway. But I mean, you know, oh. here we go. Bless God. People, hold give on, pause. Everybody, God, hold on. Give God glory. They needed this this in morning. In the middle of all things, give him glory, give him praise, rejoice, pray. He knows what you have need of. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Yes. That when people are like, why aren't you upset? Why do I need to get upset? God's in control. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. All right? Yes. There's so many people, Chris, that are saying they needed this this morning. Glad you do. I need a $10,000 so, $10, driveway. <laughs> so I don't have a car get wrecked no more. So several people were confessing their situations. There were some mamas that had some altercations with some other mamas over their children this Whoa. week. There were some... Ain't nothing like a heifer throwdown. Um, <laughs> there, was, there was some... Um, situations that many people have already had this week that they needed this word. So I am so thankful that our morning could be a practical Amen. application for your life. Amen. So, and I want it to be yes, that way. Yes, absolutely. And we can't take our daily, and everything that we talk about, everything that we talk about, we use our lives, we use what we go through, what we've gone yeah, through. Yeah, we're very or transparent. Any, very transparent to let you know, listen to me, you're not the only one that's going through stuff. Yes. I mean, here we, listen, listen to me. It's 9.30. We're doing the P-Wad. People are like, even though it was a doo-doo morning, they're all going to start saying doo-doo we're doing, morning. We're doing the P-Wad. Despite. Despite everything that took place. Yes. I'm standing out there, and we met this new girl, Ryan, because Ryan happened to see what was happening. She's she one lives of my neighbors. Up the road. She's awesome. She gave you her number, by the way. Yes. It's in there. So I said to Ryan, I said, hey, looks like y'all got this in handle. 
I got to go in here and get ready to work. Mm -hmm. Got to go preach. So I came inside, sat down, and I said, Lord, how <laughs> do I preach, like preach with this. this? He goes, preach this. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I just said? He said, talk about this. Let them hear what you just went through. He goes, there's no greater testimony than the testimony of the Lord. And then to give the testimony of the Lord of what you, I'm talking about, what are we looking at here? Two mm -hmm. hours ago, mm -hmm. this happened? Yes. 747, 745, 845, nine, three, whatever. I'm talking right here, right now. The devil is not going to get a foothold, but we're going to give God all the glory. And we're going to walk in the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, and everything's going to be taken care of in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 There's many of you that are just jumping on. I encourage you to go back and watch the replay. There was a practical application. Um, one of our vehicles that was on the road um, got hit this morning by another neighbor. Um, it actually got hit pretty hard. No one was in there. Nobody's injured, and God is good. So you're going to want to go back and watch this replay um, to get all of the details for this application. Apparently, many people needed this this Praise morning. Praise the Lord. So I'm, I'm, you know... I'm just very thankful. And I, I'm also very thankful, and Chris had said this. I can't remember if you said it on here, so I apologize if I'm repeating. But where our car was parked is actually where the bus drop-off is for, um, you know, children and parents park there mm -hmm. waiting for the buses every morning. And if a mama had been in there... Ooh, with some kids. With some kids or something. Um, so I'm kind of very glad and thankful that it was our vehicle without any of us in there. Um, well, Grant's vehicle. but So that way, no mamas and no kids He's got hurt. He's part of this house, so it's... Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> but nobody got hurt. So we're so, so thankful of the way that the Lord just covered us, protected us, yep. and protected other mamas and kids because the bus still ran this morning after this happened. Wheels on the bus go around. And, and there were still other mamas and vehicles that were sitting there waiting to drop off their kids. And so um, God go. just totally covers and protects. Go back, watch this PWOD, man. You're going to need it. You need to share it, tag it, give it to somebody out there that's going through doo-doo this morning because <laughs> you got to quit saying You do need a bigger driveway. I know. So you need to Thank get you, it out there. Thank you, Gwen. So you need to make sure you get it out there. All right. Go to chrisbrooksministries.com. If you haven't become a partner of the ministry yet, you want to become a faithful partner, partner with this ministry, or you can do a one-time donation. Everything you do goes to preach the kingdom of Almighty God. Wherever we go, you are sending us, and you are a part of that ministry. We thank the Lord for you. We pray for our partners yes. daily, yes. and we give you glory. We give the Lord glory for you of what you were doing. That being said, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May no plague, no pestilence, and no tragedy come against your family. Amen. Hallelujah. And may the peace of God that surpasses all understanding be upon you. May yes. you walk in gentleness yes. and kindness with yes. all men. And may you be blessed today wow. in Jesus' mighty name. We love you. Yes. Love you so much. We'll see you tomorrow, one more day of the PWAD. It'll be TGIF. And remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Y'all be Bye. blessed. Bye.